Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. What an absolute crazy day it was yesterday with the Neymar flashback SBC literally breaking the market. I mean, this SBC broke the game in terms of prices dropping on this game the whole market died yesterday even further than it did in the panic selling leading up to the flashback Neymar SBC so I want to talk about all the craziness that happened yesterday some cards are down so much it's crazy to see their prices some of them have already bounced back a little bit and other cards that of course link to this big boy Neymar SBC which everybody is so hyped about and we'll talk about that in today's video as well why is this card hyped? It's, you know, not as good, some will say, as his gold card. It does have more pace. It does have more shooting, but less passing. Doesn't have the five-star weak foot. So a lot of people are just going back out and buying the gold. So I want to talk about this SBC in general, but there's more to talk about in terms of the market today because we have a leak for a mid-icon player pick SBC that is leaked to be dropping today. So EA is hitting us with the one-two punch, the Neymar flashback, with it, which is an insanely huge SBC. Then also an icon mid player pick, which is probably going to impact the market more today. So I want to talk about that, prices that are down, and how I actually made a lot of coins yesterday because of that Neymar SBC. So if you're hyped for Neymar or if you've done him, uh, I want to know your comments down below. Let me know what you feel about that Neymar flashback SBC, whether you will do him, whether you work on him, whether it's just a cool card, um, or if you're not about it at all. But if you're hyped for a mid-icon player pick today or this Neymar SBC, of course, hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let's get right into it and talk about Neymar, the man of the day. This dude is taking FIFA by storm right now. Now, of course, a player of this caliber, why is this SBC hype? Why does this have 12,000, almost 13,000 upvotes? and 1,100 downvotes. So many people love this SBC, even though some say it's worse than his gold card, and it's more expensive than his gold card now, because the gold card for Neymar is 170K after he's dropped off from 400,000 coins to 170K because of this SBC. Well, again, it's just about its hype, and it's cool. And this is a Neymar that you can go out and do. It's not that expensive. 85 and 86 rated squads, 246,000 coins. A lot of people can afford that after the 85 plus times 10 packs that people have been opening. People had fodder to do this and it's Neymar, right? It's just the fact that it's so hype and that it's cool and that it's a flashback version to Neymar in his younger days. And it again, that's just hype and cool are the two words to describe why everybody wants to do this SBC. It's new and it's hype. So that's why everybody is doing this. Again, it does not have the four-star weak foot. All the leaks were correct on this. It's left wing. Um, the stats were spot on. Now, this is still a really good card in game. I have used him. He's pretty solid. Um, and I have not used Neymar at all this year. So maybe a little bit of a biased or fresh perspective there. But this is, again, the type of SBC that everybody on this FIFA will go and, and want to go and do and try to get done just the casuals, the, the hardcores like us, right? It's just an insane SBC and with the amount of hype that it had with the price point pretty easy to complete only two squads the market really showed that everybody wanted to go out and do this and I bet if you go and play weekend league or play division rivals this week this Neymar guy is going to be in just about every single squad that you see take a look at some of these price drops right again we saw this inform Neymar at 1.4 million coins just a couple days ago on Thursday the leaks came out he dropped to about a mil right and then yesterday he dropped even more from 1.1 million coins down to 780k back up to 880 um kind of what some people would maybe call a dead cat bounce where there was so much panic selling that it kind of let up for a second on still its way down to go lower but it kind of bounced back and now he's back down to 770 again all of the neymar cards are down horrendous right neymar winter wild cards a three point almost a four million coin card is now down at 3.2 million coins and that was the trend for basically all of the market yesterday. Take a look at some of these other left wings, right? People sold so many left wings on the market yesterday to go out and buy uh, or to go and do that name RSBC. Look at this Vinny Jr. Vinny Jr. yesterday was 157,000 coins, which was already down from him being 200K just a couple days ago. But he went from 150K down to 80 thousand coins he's literally halved in price some cards went so low they were discard where's uh eden hazard eden hazard was 
uh, what was he like 140k? He was like 100 and something k yesterday. He was 115. He dropped all the way down to his discard price at 60k before slightly bouncing up a little bit. Now, discard in the fact that he's got kind of a weird price range with a minimum of 60,000. But left wings, that that's just the general notion. Left wings took the biggest hit yesterday on the market in the panic because everybody sold the left wings that they had to go and do this SBC. Now, a lot of the other market uh, places on the market were, you know, down in general. I mean, you take a look at some team of the years. Ronaldo is now 5.1 mil. Lewandowski team of the year. Basically, a lot of cards in the market went down yesterday because they were people were replacing their squads um, with cards like this Lewandowski, who was 700k, went down to 620, back up to 670. Now is back down to 640. People are replacing cards from their club with this new Neymar and the links to him, right? So, of course, if people, are, so many people are doing this Neymar SBC, the price drops everywhere are crazy. What about those cards that you know actually went up yesterday? Why were there some cards that went up? even though everybody was going out and doing this Neymar SBC. I mean, if there's so much hype for people to get an SBC done, obviously people are going to put that in their teams, right? You're going to see my transfer list here of cards that I traded with yesterday are entirely full of Brazilians. This got inch, I bought two good inches in the low 700s. I mean, cards rebounded so much. It was crazy. Roberto Carlos, I bought at 480 and 490. I bought this at 700K. I bought all these Lucas Moras at 500 to 505,000 coins. All these delays I've had for like a week in my transfer list. I bought at 160K. He went up to like 220 where he is now. Just the amount of flips and trading you were able to do with League One cards and uh, Brazilian cards. Again, when you have an SBC that is just this hype that carries this much weight in game, you see so many cards rebound back. This Messi was actually about... Uh, 830, 820,000 coins, and he went back to 900k on a rebound. So a lot of your League One cards, they didn't even have to be green, green links to Neymar, right? Uh, Winter Wild Cards Genduzi, who was down at 230,000 coins, is now up to 280. That's where you saw the market really rebound yesterday, and you might even see it go a little higher into today on Monday as well, as people get their finished up weekend league rewards, go out and buy some cards, buy some fodder to finish off that Neymar SBC that basically everybody wants to do. But besides that, besides some Brazilian icons, and besides a few small bounce backs in price, the whole entire market is, is literally in the mud. It is so in the mud, it's, it's ridiculous, right? I mean, just remember that this Vinny Jr. headliner was 1.5, 1.6 million coins. Um, of course, Real Madrid drew this weekend, so that hurt his value, but now he's down to 1.2 million coins. I mean... Like, even on the lower tier, take a look at this. Romain Alessandrini, I remember selling last week for 50K. 50,000 coins for a French striker like Alessandrini in this game. He's like 20,000 coins right now. Look at this, 22K for this card. It's crazy. Everywhere you look on the market right now, prices are just down horrendous. Some prices have bounced back, again, like we said, and some cards will probably continue to bounce back. Um, you know, just cards that are very rare and very popular. And of course, right now, Neymar is all the craze, right? Neymar is all the hype. Everybody's using players that link to this card. In two to three weeks from now, there's going to be new cards that are hype. There's going to be new cards that people are trying out, that people are using, and that people want to buy for, for their teams. And you're going to see some of these prices that have dropped down so low, some of them are going to come back, right? Depending on, you know, what other content that EA puts out and stuff like that, you're going to see some of these prices rebound back just because the cards and the content that is getting released in this game is moving all of the time. So if you made some buys yesterday, like I know some people bought Dina Talley's for like under 100K, I think. Dina Talley was 175. He went to 111K. I, I think I'm pretty sure I saw this guy at 100,000 coins flat though on the PlayStation for a, a hot minute. He rebounded all the way back to 125, 130 where he is now. You know, stuff like that. Just your very popular meta usable cards. How about another left wing from the Premier League like Jota? This card is incredibly rare. What did he do? He went from 400k down to 275, rebounded back up over 300. Uh, he was looks like he was about 315. Now he's 293 again. So some of these cards had a, a bounce. Now they're coming back down a little bit. And I think that you will see some of the market still, you know, it's going to stay really, really low. And especially today with a mid icon player pick potentially coming out. Uh, you're going to have prices that will probably drop again on some areas of the market. But what you have to do and remember is 
uh, as this Pedri is finally now on the market again too, he was down at like 1.75. It looks like he's rebounding back. He's up in the one, uh, 1 1.8 million coin range. Just a super duper rare card. Great to trade with uh, if any of you guys bought that uh, to flip. But, you know, a lot of these cards have dropped off. I think some of them will bounce back again. But in general, the market is just down bad and it's horrendously mudded fodder is up but it's not up like crazy i think it could continue to go up today of course because of that mid icon player pick people are people are suckers for those types of player picks so they're probably going to go out and do some of those but trading right now on the market or even if you've just lost a bunch of coins in your team you know right now some people are like really hyped about neymar and they're like i don't care that i lost coins or he fits in my team perfectly and then other people are like, man, my team lost so much value. I'm down so many coins and this sucks. So I totally understand both sides of the coin here. Um, and I understand both sides of the situation. So I'm just trying to tell you what is going on in this market and on, and on this game. And, you know, wh whatever your situation is, you can kind of plug in. If you lost a lot of coins, the best thing I can tell you is there's going to be a lot of great opportunities to trade with all the content. The past, like, month on this game after Team of the Year, that's, of course, been less than a month. But I feel like the past month on FIFA has been so great to trade. And notoriously, this time of the year is a great time to make coins on flipping cards because a lot of content comes out and there's a lot of fluctuations in price as well. And as the content keeps rolling, there's going to be opportunities to make coins on this market. So if you're down bad and you lost a lot of coins, have no fear. There will be a lot of opportunity to make it back too, right? I know it sucks when you lose coins and when the players that are in your squad are down horrendous. And especially when a market crash like this happens, it's very demotivating, but it's easy to bounce back. Once you get your mind right, take a break. If you need to take a couple days break, play a game, play a different game, and then boom, get plugged right back in or, you know, do whatever you need to do to take a small break. Uh, and then get right back into it if you want, because there's still going to be a lot of opportunities and a lot of cool content on this game that is, you know, you're going to be able to make coins off of. So I guess a little bit of a motivational talk for some of you that may be down bad after losing a lot of coins. We're going to look this week as well at some ways to make coins. And I think today is going to present another opportunity for that because of the leaks. Yes, the leak for the icon mid player pick. And a lot of times, especially this has been a great way to trade in the past couple of weeks. When we get icon SBCs like this, it creates windows of panic selling and price drops on the market. And then after that, what we see is a quick rise, right? We see like a drop and then a rise. People go into the SBC, they realize, oh man, I didn't pack anything sick. Then they go back out and cards rebound from that panic sell as people buy them back and as their prices kind of naturally recover from that panic sell. So this SBC is evidently coming today. This was tweeted yesterday. How much is this going to cost? The other thing to think about with an icon mid player pick is the player picks this year haven't been that cheap. The one SBC player pick that we have had for the base or mid icon that was actually released was like 800K. And, you know, this was only about a month ago, right? January 15th. Yes, it was 680K, some low points and fodder was very, very high. Fodder was very, very high during this time period, like leading up to team of the year. So I understand why this SBC looks horrendously overpriced, um, but people still love this stuff. They still love these sorts of SBCs. So for a mid icon player pick, how much is, how much is this SBC going to cost today? In my opinion, uh, since fodder right now is at a more reasonable level, you got 86s that are 17,000 coins. You got 87s at 22K. So fodder's up a little bit, but it didn't go crazy yesterday with Neymar. So I really feel like that they could make a mid icon player pick somewhere around the 600 to 750,000 coin range to complete. And again, if it's a one of three choice, like the base or mid player pick was that was out before team of the year, that's going to be an SBC that a lot of people will probably want to go and do because people love SBCs like this one. I don't know if it's going to be repeatable. Of course, earlier last week, we saw the base or, or sorry, we, we saw the mid or prime icon pack that was released repeatable, but only a certain number of times. So I wonder if they would do that with this player pick today, just something to kind of keep an eye out for with that. But again, like we often see with these icon uh, player picks and icon upgrade packs, it's a gamble, right? So you see a lot of people loving that gamble and wanting to take advantage and, and you know, try their luck at packing one of these insane icons. But also, again, you see a lot of people not able to pack icons and not have that great pack luck that they maybe want. And you see them sell cards to go do the SBC, but then they also end up going and buying some cards back for their team. Is of course, Mondays are a big day for, wow, LaCroix just bounced. Man, I missed the buy time on a couple of these. LaCroix was just 740. 
uh, and Pedri was 1.73, and both of them just rebounded back up. So that's a bit of pain. Uh, but people are gonna people are gonna go back and, and try to to build some teams and play division rivals and get their games in, play the champions playoffs. There is gonna be gameplay demand, and that's where you could see some of these cards rebounding back a little bit after that panic sell. So watch out for that today. Fodder probably gonna go up a bit. Uh, since there's not really any supply right now with that player pick SBC, but the meta market may be slightly dropping, then maybe a rebound afterwards after the panic selling is done and all of that. So let's talk future stars right now and even this morning with rewards. Mondays are, are usually a day where a lot of the market rises up and a lot of prices this evening have gotten pretty low. Graven Birch, uh, he bounced pretty healthily yesterday. Right now he's about 700,000 coins. He's still pretty low. But I was just taking a look at Pedri and Lacroix. And these cards are so rare that you have to time the buy and sell prices so perfectly. Uh, this Pedri is at 1.8 mil. He was just down at 1.75. So if he drops back down there again, which I doubt that he will, I will look to pick him up. And then I was going to buy Lacroix at like 730. Uh, and then I started making this video. And all of a sudden, he is up to 780k. So that's a bit of pain. But... That's what happens with these cards when they're really rare. I think that some of the cards from Future Stars 2 will rebound a bit today, especially the meta ones. That The fact that Pedri is on the market after being extinct all weekend uh, is hype for a lot of people, and, and they're going to want to go and try this Pedri card out. So 1796, man, and there's only three cards to 1.9. Is that what I'm seeing here? Probably not. Yeah, it's not worth the flip, but hopefully we get some undercuts. I would love to snag this in the low to mid 1.7s again. But I think that you will see, even like on a guy like Florian Verts, you might see some of these cards from Future Stars too. I know they're in packs, and you're like, Nate, why would you risk it on something like this that is in packs and has supply and could get packed today? Well, these cards are also just very hype, and a lot of people want to try them out, and a lot of people want to get their hands on them to try them in game. So this is where the hype is. Now, one thing I would also watch out for is kind of what we just looked at is some cards that were panic sold. Um, you know, like I'd be very careful if it's a left wing, like I was just looking at this Jota, right? Jota went down to 270, kind of rebounded back up to 320, and now he's down again. I would really look for places on the market for cards that are maybe icons or maybe, you know, some other cards that are from the League One, right? Cards that are hype that link to Neymar. If any of those were to drop, uh, you know, I think they could rise up after the weekend league rewards time frame today. That would be some place on the market that I would I would keep an eye out for and watch out for. But again, with that player pick SBC coming today, it just might be another scenario where you see some panic selling when that comes out, then a little bit of a rise later on. So the market's still going to be moving and fluctuating, and it's going to create opportunities to make coins. But you just have to be you just have to be careful with some of the cards that you pick and choose because again, right now everybody is is hyped about one item. So it's even a little bit risky trying to buy cards that are outside of, you know, the league on. Like I'm looking at the Smith Rowe, who is extremely rare, and he's gone down a lot in price. But like I, I need this guy at like 560 because I don't know if he's going to go back to 620K where he was. So if I were to buy a player, I'm probably not because he hasn't dropped low enough for me there. If I were to buy a player like that, you know, I, I need to make sure that I see really, really sizable drop-offs in price because it's got to be worth it for me to, you know, take a risk, especially if it's something that's in packs like this Lacroix. I just knew that he was so rare and he was going to bounce back. Um, you, you have to calculate your risk, especially right now. Yeah, those Pedri sold at 1.8 mil. He's bouncing back. We missed the boat on that one. It is what it is. Um, maybe we can snag a bid here or something. I don't know. Um, but you just kind of have to calculate your risk and know what people are very hyped with right now. And right now, people are hyped, hyped with League One, Neymar, and Brazil links. So that's why I bought this Gabriel Jesus yesterday in the low 700s. If this were to go to like, oh, he's getting kind of low again. If I saw him at like 720 or 730, maybe some of these open bids I'll keep an eye on. I would be very, very interested in watching that card for a rebound today. Also, maybe some of the current team of the week cards. If you wanted to buy a few of those, you could look into that. I would just, again, caution you to be a little bit careful uh, because right now all the hype is with Brazil. And with League One. So that's, if you kind of keep that in mind and, and, and see, like, that's where the hype is. I bought four Ronaldinho's today at, like, 950K and, and below. Just because this is a rare out-of-packs icon. And, uh, you know, I think that he can, I can get some sales on him. So I've been kind of, I'm getting close to sales. Haven't actually got them yet. But as you can see, Gabriel Jesus, 710, 720 is what I got him for yesterday when he was really, really down, down bad. And I already sold one at 800, trying to get some of those other ones out there. 
Um, so yeah, that's just kind of where I would focus right now on the market. But again, the market is a crazy place in this game with all of the Neymar content that we had yesterday. One last thing that I will say that we could actually see today would be upgrade packs. Upgrade packs on this game today. I don't know if they would do player picks again. Actually, if I'm being completely honest, I hope that they do player picks again uh, because player picks are the most hype. And I think that people with the much as much fun as people have with player picks last week during Future Stars Team 1, people would have an absolute blast this week during Team 2. So we will see if EA Sports um, goes ahead and does that this week. And I'm going to end the video there, boys. And you're going to have to uh, come to this Twitch stream tomorrow to see if I won this Pedri and, and if we were able to get a successful flip on him. I have a feeling this bid's going to last for like 10 minutes and it's not going to work out in the end for me. But we're going to try to get this, maybe try a game with him or two and uh, try to make some profit because I think he's going to go to 1.9 mil. Anyways, that's the video for today. Again, let me know what you think and how your experience has been with this whole market crash, Neymar SBC craziness that has been going on. Of course, if you did enjoy the video, smash the thumbs up on it and comment down and already said that. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. All right, I'm out. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. Peace out.